I'm Alex Dorks. I'm Bob's son. I have a couple memories. One, obviously Aunt Lizzie's wedding, because that was fun. I remember me and Ava went upstairs in my tuxedo and her dress, I think it was. Fell asleep watching Ghostbusters that night. Another memory I have was at Grandma Puff's funeral. Zach went up and said, quote unquote, I love everybody on this earth and in heaven. My brother Nick was probably five or six years old. Aunt Lizzie's wedding arch was sitting in the backyard. Nick was driving a little lawn tractor. And Nick didn't quite make it through all the way. <laughs> and the tire hit it and the whole thing came down on him. <laughs> okay, uh, my name is Shirley Brewer. I am related to the Dorrances because my mom is Katie. Wow. Also known as Katie Dorrance. My favorite dance members probably reunions every summer in Mackinac and then in our train and then Wisconsin. Chris Dorrance. I'm Hyan Levon's youngest and favorite child. Well, when Aunt Cindy and I were in school and people would hear our name, they'd say, well, who is your dad? And we would always say, why? Because you never knew what story they might know about them. Because Grandpa High one time was they were being pulled behind a car I guess on icy roads and he ran he hit a tree and broke his jaw and he was not going to stay in the hospital and he went home and cut the wires out. Okay, Bill Dorrance, hi and Levon's son and I remember family reunions out at the farm on S Avenue and 36th Street it was like going to the armory because everybody had a gun <laughs> And they'd shoot guns, and they'd go out in the woods, and they'd shoot guns, and they'd shoot targets, throw things in the air and shoot them, and went hunting with Uncle Kenny and my dad once, my pheasant hunting. And my dad took me squirrel hunting once, and I shot a squirrel. And I remember they took a picture of me holding a squirrel by its tail. But did you cry? But it was it sad? It was sad. Uh, yeah. And then they took the squirrel and had it cleaned, or cleaned it, and put it in the freezer, and no one ever ate it. <laughs> Bill would come from St. Louis. My dad and Kenny La and Uncle Kenny and Briar would get together in our living room and they'd just sit there I mean, for hours and tell stories. It was amazing. Uncle Kenny drove the Jeep up the front porch steps at my mom's house one night. He was a little too drunk. Like on accident? No. <laughs> he just wanted to know if he'd go up there and it did. My name's Ken. I am Bill and Ruth's son. I am number three in the long line of chitlins, but I am the second son. I have a cousin. His name's Luke. Luke Duke lives in Tennessee. My favorite part of my memories with Luke was when he would get in trouble in school and the teacher would make him write a hundred times, I will not do this or I will not do that, just like Bart Simpson used to do. I used to help Luke get through those. So, to that teacher who really couldn't tell her handwriting apart, thanks. Hi, I'm Ruthie Dorrance and I'm married to Bill Dorrance. We've been married for 46 years and um, I met Bill when he came to my house in Schoolcraft because he was renting a garage from my father. The doorbell rang, I answered the door, and I was going to be a senior in high school and I have curlers all over my head when I met him. I went upstairs and I said, Dad, there are two really good looking guys at our front door. Well, as the years have gone by, we still own that garage that he was renting, and um, we've been married for, like I said, 46 years, four kids, five grandkids, and it has been quite a wonderful my ride. Hannah Gleaves. I'm related to Puff because it's my mom's grandmother. Uh, my favorite memory with her was when we used to scare her when she would sleep. Addis would knock the walker down and she would jump. Hi, my name is Beth Haynes and I'm related through Grandma and Grandpa Dorns, um, Orlin and Iva, and um, their daughter Betty is my mother. So my story is, Chris and I were just talking about when we had a driver's ed and we're learning to drive <laughs> a stick shift and uh, we had to stop on the top of a hill while Chris was driving. And she let the clutch out, shot over the top of the hill, and there was a bunch of uh, road equipment in the road. She went in the ditch, and they had to pull us out. Chris and I were in school together. We were in the same class. Oh, I didn't know that. So, yep, yeah, we went through school all together. I could talk about Grandma Dorrance, her mother. I have wonderful memories of my Grandma Dorrance. I spent summers with her on the farm. Um, at 33rd Street and then on Park Street in Vicksburg after my grandpa died. 
and she was she had a huge influence on me. Taught me how to do things that normally men would do. So she made me a very independent woman in a lot of ways. Taught me how to swing a hammer and do all kinds of things like that. Um, some of the fun times we had is when Beth and Rick and the cousins would get together and we would tie her apron strings to the dining room chair she was sitting in and then she'd get up to get coffee and she'd drag the chair with her. Or one time when she was spending a few days at our house in Brighton, my middle sister and I got up and scotch taped newspaper over her bedroom door so when she opened the door to go to the bathroom in the night she walked through the newspaper and kind of startled her. Hi, I'm Rick Lau, the son of Betty Dorrance, Lau Dorrance, and uh, my Dorrance story is I remember the old days in the family reunions, all the guys would bring their guns up and then we'd drink and go out and target shoot. <laughs> And it was very impressive when I was little, although probably not the safest, <laughs> but we always had a good time. Bill Lawrence, my mom's cousin from St. Louis, he loved handguns and he had all kinds of different ones. And so every time he came up, he would bring, oh, probably 10 or 15 different guns. And so we'd all shoot them. He had little Derringers, big old, like, cowboy guns and everything. <laughs> so it was a pretty good time that us kids didn't get to experience much. Aunt LaVon, uh, my stepson Corey and I were at her house one night because she had a tree that needed cutting up and we burned wood so we went over there and we started out about six o'clock in the evening and we were cutting it up. She says, oh well, you guys come on in and have some coffee. And so we went in, started talking and she pulled up all these pictures and we sat there and looked at old pictures and talked until one in the morning. Okay, I am Lizzie and my parents are Bill and Ruthie. And my story is about the evolution of the DeBruja vacation. So every year we go, we used to every year go up to Mackinac City, Michigan. And we've been doing this forever. So mom and dad used to take just Billy and Kate. Um, I think they even went there when they were first married with us. Probably not. Maybe when Billy was a baby. And then um, then they went with Billy, Kate, and Ken. And then I got to start going and we would just go with mom and dad and Ken and me. And then we all went and we took three cabins to fit us all up there. And then one year someone was like, I think it was Wendy, was like, we should go somewhere else. And everyone's like, no, absolutely not. Mackinac's our thing, that's what we're gonna do. And then we started going other places and it has been super fun and um, this is our first year no we went to Wisconsin so we've been out of state before but this is our first year going really far away um, so we've been besides Mackinac to Awe Train Michigan and to Wisconsin Dells in Wisconsin to Sleeping Bear Dunes in honor Michigan and this year we're gonna go to Bear Lake in Utah well my name is Nick Terry or Nick the Stick also known as and um, see, my connection to the Dorans family is through Lyle, because Lyle is like my father figure, uh, or my godfather, and, um, and Bill's his best buddy. And so Uncle Bill and Aunt Ruthie, and the rest of the Dorans family, specifically Lizzie, uh, are who I spent a lot of my weekends with growing up. We went to car shows and tractor shows, and... Um, and we did all kinds of things. Spent a lot of holidays together, and um, I spent a lot of weekends growing up right here at this house, and also at the old house in Vicksburg, I remember, when I was really little. So uh, they're very special to me. And, um, and when I was young, I also looked up to Kenny. Kenny was a role model to me. I thought he was really cool playing guitar. And uh, when he was in high school, and I was, I don't know, probably 10 years old, I thought Kenny was too cool for school. Turns out maybe he was. Uh, yeah, so uh, so the Dorans family is very close to me and uh, I love them dearly and I probably wouldn't be uh, the same person I am today without them. Uh, hello, I am Wendy Dorans. And I'm Bill Dorans. I am Bill and Ruthie's kid. And I am his wife. Okay, my first impression of the Dorans is um, Bill, Bill brought me home and Aunt Liz was sitting at the table and she yells, Mom, Billy brought a girl home. And I thought it was very sweet. Okay. So obviously I've been a member of the Dorans family 
quite a bit longer than, than Wendy has been. <laughs> when, when you grew up in Vicksburg as a Dorrance, pretty much, pretty much everybody knew who you were. Um, my grandpa had previously been a police chief for a little while. He was a plumber. He did a lot of different things. He was a truck driver for most of my life. Uh, he started his own lawn service. But I used to go on, on spring break, I would go with my grandpa and we would take a, a trip um, in his truck. And one year we went to, we were going to Vermont. And we got into Pennsylvania and had a snowstorm. So we were stuck in a hotel room for like two or three days with nothing to do. My old grandpa, who everybody called Hiram, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't sit still real well. So we went a little stir crazy, but uh, you know, we, he would take me to um, the truck stops and I would order a, a fried ham, because I thought that was the most awesome food in the world, truck stop fried ham. And we'd play video games and uh, we had a great time. Just a very well-known family in town and uh, I think they still are. I'm Katie Brewer. I'm Todd Brewer. And I'm Ruth and Bill's oldest daughter. Katie is my wife. Kate and I met at Central Michigan University and uh, when I first saw her I said that will be my wife someday and is that, uh, that well, is pretty true. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been married now for 19 years this summer. So some of my favorite memories are Christmas Eve we'd always we'd rotate houses and we'd always celebrate with the Dorrance family so I had a lot of cousins that were close to my same age and then when we got a little older, we would uh, sneak Chi Chi's out of the freezer. Grandma would make these awesome drinks and some of the kids would be in there sneaking them out. Probably me and just Dana, I don't know. Some of my other favorite memories is when I was growing up, I had my Aunt Chris and her family live next door and then my grandma and grandpa lived around the corner and then um, my grandma's sister Lorene lived up the alley and so there were four of us all on the same block. And I can remember um, walking over there a lot, and sometimes they would, we'd all get to sleep in the blue room, and we'd spend the night over there, and they would baby, when Grandma would babysit us. And one time, I remember um, B Billy and I got in a big fight, and he like pulled a knife out of the kitchen door and was like threatening me with a knife, and I went, ran all the way to my grandma's house because I was so upset, and my grandpa was so mad at Billy. And and then another memory about my grandpa, he was super ornery and grouchy, and. I think I was in high school or maybe middle school and people were, so they must have looked up Dorrance in the phone book and they were calling my grandpa's house repeatedly asking for me and my grandpa like said, come on over to my house right now and he said a car drove by and grandma told me later that he like got a gun out, like he was going to shoot the people that came and then um, when I was a senior in high school I got to live with my grandma while my parents were building their house and every night she would tell me stories about all the relatives and get out all her photo albums and so when Alex and I were <laughs> eight and six yeah probably well let's just say we were I was eight and he was six uh, grandma and grandpa have this golf cart it's awesome so Alex and I had the brilliant idea to <laughs> steal the golf cart and drive it around the drive it around the yard and uh, we had kids hanging off the back of it. I think Ava might have been chasing after it. I know Nick was chasing after it. My dad had to get on the little dirt bike and chase us down. <laughs> but yeah, we got in big trouble and we were grounded from Pretty it for much the rest the of the summer. summer. I remember thinking, it doesn't even matter. We're, we're yeah, at the end yeah. of summer. Katie used to sneak out on a regular basis and she thought that she was going to get in trouble if I told on her for sneaking out. So I had gone to a midnight movie or something with my buddies came home and our, our when we lived in Vicksburg we never locked any doors so the back door was always unlocked and then I would lock it when I went to bed so I came home I was obviously older and when I got home I walked through the back door locked the door when your mom and her friends had snuck out and were hiding in the bushes and you know didn't want me to see that they'd snuck out so when I came home and locked the door I locked them out of the house so in our house we lived in in Vicksburg, there was a house that was built probably in the late 1800s, and the windows had counterweights in them. Well, in our bathroom window, the counterweights were actually broken, and we put a we put a stick in there to hold the window. 
Well, when your mom was climbing back through the window to get back in the house, she knocked the stick out of the window, dropped the window down, the glass broke and shattered, and woke grandma up. So your mom got in a lot of trouble for sneaking out because she was trying to hide from me in the bushes and didn't let me know she was Hi, I'm Ava. I'm um, Katie and Todd's daughter. Um, a story that I have about the Durrance family is at Aunt Lizzie's wedding. Alex and I, all night, we were begging the DJ to play the song Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. So we, we were both obsessed with this song. Okay, so begging all night. We, we probably asked the DJ like 20 times to play this song and he wouldn't play it. Like he said he would, but he wouldn't. So finally it was time for us to go to bed. We were just little. So we went back up to the house and we were watching Ghostbusters and I was like, Alex, pause the movie. And they were playing Bad Romance. And we were already like about to go to sleep. Finally they played Bad Romance. Um, another story I have, okay. At, um, <laughs> at the dress rehearsal of Aunt Lizzie's wedding, Alex and I, we were obsessed with these things called Zuzu Pets. So I had a girl Zuzu Pet, she was pink, and then he had a boy Zuzu Pet. And we made little outfits for them, and we carried them down the aisle with us. Because Alex and I were about the same age, so we were paired up um, as flower girl and, I don't know, whatever he was. And so we walked down the aisle, and we were carrying our Zuzu pets. So it was like our Zuzu pets were getting married at Aunt Lizzie and Uncle TJ's dress rehearsal. And then also at the rehearsal dinner, I remember I brought my karaoke machine. And um, Zach, I was very mad at him because he kept fidgeting with it and he actually, while Uncle TJ was singing Brown Eyed Girl to Aunt Lizzie, he unplugged the machine and I got really mad at him. <laughs> so I am Trisha Parker. I am James Parker's wife who is the Dorrance's cousin. Let's see, when James and I were early on dating, I remember the whole family would get together once a month to celebrate birthdays, just about. Uh, that was very intimidating for me because I never came from a family that did that. But getting to know Katie and Billy, they became very good friends. Um, got to experience some of uh, Billy's girlfriends before he married Wendy. That was um, interesting. I do remember when Katie and Todd got married, um, Billy had brought a girl. He brought her, he'd only dated her for like a week or two and brought her and the guys all went out before the wedding. The night before the wedding the guys all went out and I got stuck with this girl that I did not know at all. And so the guys were out until like three in the morning and so I got stuck with this girl who was like where is Billy and you know blah 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 Billy and blah 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 Billy and I had to sit there with her the whole time and Billy owed me big for that one. And then he started dating Wendy who was awesome and became pretty much my best friend. Um, I do remember when we first went out on a double date that I want to say it was James that called her the wrong name. Uh, almost everyone in this family went to Western. Ted and I went to Central. So Central and Ri Western have been rivals for 100 years plus. So every year they play each other, it's a big deal in football. Anyway, they play for a trophy. And it's Central Western Week year and super fun weekend. It's the only weekend that I uh, watch football. And so we created our own trophy and it's called the Mustang Cup. And every year, whoever, if Central wins, then we get to bring it home with us. If Western wins, then Billy, Billy's family gets to bring it home with them. And I do believe that Billy has the trophy right now, but overall, Central has won more times than Western has. So. My name is Lloyd Dorrance Haw. I was the fifth of six children of Orlin and Iva. I hated family reunions because we had an old aunt that used to pinch my cheek all the time. <laughs> and I used to lie for my brother Leslie all the time to Levon in Vicksburg. They would say he was rascal. That a lot of us Richie boys, he got blamed for things they did too. Orlin William Dorrance was his name and he at age 16, went west to seek his fortune. While he was out there, he drove stagecoach until he tipped the stage over and then they fired him. And then he went up to Oregon and went to work in the Oregon Caves. Well, anyhow, when my husband and I went out west with our children one summer, we stopped to see if we could find this family. And Dick went into this 
candy shop or country store and the girl in there said yes I am a member of that family and that they remembered my father very well. When he came back home my mother had graduated from what is now Western Michigan University and she hated she taught one year and despised it and uh, and Isla, her sister, went on to be a teacher and taught for quite a few years. Well, when my father came home, my mother had thrown out the cold coffee the night before. And he said, who in hell threw out the coffee? And my mother had just come down to the kitchen and she said, I did. She said, who are you? And I, he said, I am O.W. Dorrance. And she said, oh, the wandering son. And for, from then on, it was kind of a little bickering back and forth. And then World War I started, and he joined the Army. He, by that time, had become smitten with my mother. And he said, uh, will you wait for me till I come home? And when he came home, he was badly injured. That was at the time that the Germans had started using the mustard gas. And at that time, my father was in Fort Custer, uh, hospital, Veterans Hospital, which is still there. And he was there for quite a long time, as I recall the telling. And um, finally they said to my mother, you sh my, uh, my father, you should not go home and marry that young girl. She, you will never be any better. But my mother didn't heed the warning and neither did my father. And so he finally was released from the hospital and they were married.